Hello dear Scorpio guys, thank you all so much for joining me for your July general love reading. As always, anything you need is in the description box below. If you do like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment in order to keep up to date with the videos that I do tend to bring out. Also, do join me on Facebook or Instagram. If you follow me on my personal Instagram, I will follow you back. Or check out official Occult Tarot um, page where you can find weekly and daily Oracle and Tarot card draws. This can also be found on the Facebook page and the community tab of the channel. Please also do check out my GoFundMe project for those of you who may be interested. Um, you know, every penny counts to me and I will be very grateful uh, for any suggestions or, or, or donations. Anyhow, also we do have um, additional pick up card reading available for the month of July that you can purchase for quite cheap price. It's got over 45 minutes in content. Um, so if you know this reading has resonated with you and you don't want to for some reason get a private reading, but you want something more interactive and more personal. So the pick up card reading will be just for you. You can find that um, in the link below. I will shuffle the cards on camera. So please do click on the timestamp below in order to dive straight into your video, Scorpio. Thank you. So dear Scorpios guys, thank you all so much for being patient with me. As you can see, I kind of went for the whole oceanic theme this month. Um, I hope you like it. And I have drawn an uh, Oracle of the Mermaids uh, Oracle card for you also in order to see what is the Oracle message for you this month. What is the type of advice that you may um, want to consider. And the message here we do have is divine sensuality. It says making love and erotica. This is a very beautiful card. And the divinatory message for you here is, it is possible at this time that you are being judged by others for the sexual choices and made to have chosen or maybe about to choose. Please know it is your birthright to choose freely who you give yourself to and why. The only question is whether this is a sacred and honorable exchange, whether this feels like it is a good choice for you personally. It is time to put aside societal and even cultural and traditional norms and judgments about who we choose and how we choose to enact sensuality. There is a boundary being broken through as long as this is a free choice of your own and one that brings you wisdom, health, joy and respect. It is not for others to make this choice. It is yours alone. Break through the fear, Scorpio. So the main theme this month is to I feel like embrace that sexual energy which you really really have Scorpios are full of sexual energy you are sexual creatures also especially this month um, in some cases whomever this resonates with if it doesn't do go check your moon your rising sign or the other person's video also there may be a specific individual that you may have dealt with in the past in in in, in an intimate retrospect or are about to make a choice to go ahead with them and you are having literally eyes at the back of your head or people um, trying to discourage you people may have been gossiping or giving you some type of advice could be due to as it said traditional cultural differences committal differences whatever it may be but once again if it feels right you're not being forced to do something you don't want to do you know it is sacred and honorable you should really go ahead with that so that will be the main message which is lovely 
I'm using Oceanic Tarot here. And the underlying theme for you this month is the Eight of Swords. Restrictions beneath that is the Nine of Swords. There's just too many Swords energies happening. So I feel like you are so much in your head. You're overanalyzing, which is not very rel relatable or relative for you, given that you have that feminine yin, that negative quality about you being a Scorpio this uh, one of the feminine signs um given that you are ruled by water um and you know air and fire is the masculine the yang side of, of, of things you know so it's, it's it's strange how you are very much stuck in your own head this month rather than your emotions which normally you know you kind of go by you go by your intuition you go by your emotions right now you are just over analyzing you definitely are feeling restrained you are hearing things you know you're gathering the facts but you cannot see things clearly you are not able to move forward because due to lack of vision due to lack of um ability to know what is waiting for you um, when you move forward and this that restriction or restraint the feeling of mental entrapment is leading you to the nine of swords energy and we did I feel like I do remember your reading in the month of June for those of you who did watch it that you know I told you don't ensure that in the future you try to avoid the nine of swords energy yet the nine of swords has come up so some of you may be due to some type of restraint or restriction this could very much correlate with that divine sensuality card that um, you want to conform to societal values there is somebody that is for forbidden for you and you know you are really feeling restricted guilty anxious sleepless nights inability to focus um, something that's really deeply affecting you right now and this could be correlating to passion the page of uh, page of ones is about movement forward passion uh, it could be passionate communication as well um, you know you are trying to fight your ground you are trying to fight for your beliefs and that really very much is correlating to that divine sensuality card once again for those of you this, who this does make uh, sense to in other retrospect it could be you want to communicate romantically with somebody but yeah you're finding yourself to be too restricted you're finding yourself to be too manipulated by other people's opinions which is one of the no-nos in every single aspect in life so the underlying uh, sorry the central theme this month or what's in the center we'd have the ten of swords as well endings this is never a nice energy to kind of reap. This has come up for, I'm not sure if it was Libra, the same cards, because we do have directionally above it the Ace of Wands, and beneath that is the Ten of Swords. They literally had the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I do apologize, I don't remember what sign is, but that's quite interesting how the pattern or the energy is repeating itself in regards to the message. You need to be prepared if it hasn't happened yet. It may transpire into the month of July where there is this situation of backstabbings. There is the situation of imminent endings, inhibition of progress and, f and you know, feeling like things cannot get any worse. Well, the positive of this card is that things, yes, things cannot get any worse. I'm not here to try to, you know rain on the parade so to speak i am here to just simply uh, yield the message and you know the ten of swords does speak about an ending does speak about a situation which is very uncomfortable and there is a lot of mental anguish within it as well but this does not necessarily have to be in relation to you this is surrounding energy also sometimes so the other energies which may be indirectly affecting you they do tend to pop up in the reading i'm saying that because i do have the queen of cups here right next to you this is a water sign card, but technically this would be more of a cool card that largely falls under the zodiac sign of Cancer. We'll get into it, but as I'm saying, it could be to do with another female in the picture, things ending with another female. Of course, if you're a man watching this, you may be dealing with a water sign female who could be Cancer, could be another Scorpio or a Pisces, or just a person who archetypically uh, conforms to that archetype, simply somebody who's very emotional, could be very moody, um, could be always playing a victim to get the better of you and you may be putting an end to them. It could be even in correlation to a marriage because uh, I have justice and the hierophant in the same row. Um, 
Anyhow, starting from the beginning, we do have the High Priest or the Hierophant, uh, Taurus. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. For some of you, that could be a passionate new beginning with a Taurus or some type of embarking on some type of legal creative project. I don't know how for some of you this may resonate. Um, but to me, what I see here could be referring to holy matrimony for sure. In regards to, I feel like you are reaching a very stable phase within it. It could be a proposal coming for you as well. But also the, the Hierophant can speak about a father figure. So it could be that um, a father figure is actually restricting you and preventing you from making the sexual intimate choices you want to make. Referring back to the Divine Sensuality card. But also now is the time to, if there is one person in your life who guides you and who has great advice, a person who has a lot of life experience, I feel like they will be guiding you in in the right direction this month as well. Someone who could be very spiritual or very religious. Some of you may be even meeting somebody at the church. The Hierophant can speak about that, the court, any type of old traditional institution, university. There is this creative project in regards to that institution, whoever this may refer to. There is this uh, passionate new beginning with this Ace of Wands or growth. Whoever, whoever this may resonate to, whichever way, this could be a passionate new beginning with a Taurus. This could be a passionate new beginning within the holy matrimony you are currently in. This could be a new creative project you are embarking on with an older uh, individual at work also. Some of you may be interested in a judge. I don't know why I see that because justice will normally speak about legal matters. The hierophant and can be caught an older man or a higher ranking person within the court. Some of you may be embarking on some type of project with someone quite highly ranked within your given career or simply um, could be some of you are interested in an actual judge um, because you may have had some legal um, things to deal with and you know things have evolved there is that passionate new beginning with that individual because justice can speak about a libra it could be a passionate new beginning with a libra directionally speaking it can go both ways but it could be that this libra is also married if that is the case just be wary but mostly justice would ask us to be balanced justice would ask us to weigh out the pros and the cons and be fair if you feel like people have not been fair towards you rest assured you don't have to be resentful you don't have to be spite sorry ran out of storage standard um you don't even have to get your hands dirty basically because karma will bite them back in the backside as you would know nevertheless that's why justice is here if you have been fair and if you have done everything by the book or you've not been spiteful or resentful towards anybody but people have been trying to come at you uh, try to restrain you, try to give you stress and sleepless nights, rest assured, karmically speaking, there is an ending, there could be a very spiteful water sign female around you as well, whether you're a man or woman watching this doesn't matter, it could be somebody envious of you, could be jealous of you, they're being very, very unfair, towards the whole situation whatever it may be the six of pentacles is saying if you have been dealing with a taurus, taurus since we have the hierophant above it um this month there will be that equal balance this month there will be that give and take dynamic um you know where you feel like this person is being very generous towards you as well but the next year we do go to, to ten of swords energy as i mentioned previously be wary that whatever this passionate new beginning is and however it may start, that it just suddenly don't burn out due to gossip, due to someone's bitterness, due to somebody trying to stir the pot. It could be in regards to some type of intimacy or someone um, trying to um, make you go back onto this or not want to kind of get intimate with an, a specific individual you are dealing with. There may be, as I say, a lot of gossip surrounding this. There could be a fallout with a friend who could be a water sign as well. If that's not the case, the Queen of Cups could be saying that some of you will be, once again, ending things with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, individual. As we know, Tarot is unisex, Kings, Queens, doesn't matter. Um, everything is energy. Energy is, uh, you know, one. There is no gender. Some of you may be committed to another water sign. 
and at the beginning there was that sense of equal balance there, there, there was that sense of generosity yet um this is lacking there is that scarcity in 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 that that's why the ten of swords is saying you feel very backstabbed you feel like the person you have been dealing with is not somebody that you once knew if that makes sense we do have the ace of pentacles saying practical new beginnings so there could be expression of feelings there could be someone's relationship ascending to a high level of commitment uh there could be a proposal for some of you as well but mainly i feel like out of somebody's generosity you will manage to um achieve prosperity within this also ability to be able to move forward however i feel like whatever this backstabbing situation is or whatever that passionate new beginning may be that it may present itself to burn out by the mid-month this may cause you great emotional confusion disillusionment inability to make clear concise choice this may have uh, this may be a, a vast detour for you in regards to your progress within the relationship or within that romantic connection whichever way um in other cases you know there is a lot of choices to be made as well for you what are you going to choose be wary that you're not choosing a situation which has no prosperity for the future are you choosing the situation which may be evolving slowly but is going to yield long-term benefits or you're going for something which will quickly burn out and it will just be this big blowout annihilation and backstabbing because we do have the nine of cups for you here scorpio at the end of the, the day a wish emotional wish will be fulfilled for you this could pretty much relate to any of the signs i previously mentioned but particularly since directionally speaking we have that queen of cups and the queen of swords right next to it could refer to um could be a, a, a libra female uh man whichever one aquarius or a gemini here as well wish coming true in the sense that you know you may be attracting that person and they may be coming into your life there is that slow new beginning or you know things may be evolving from a friendly level rather than from an intimate level first in other cases some of you may be choosing between two people and i was asking you to be very balanced and fair in other cases for women out there you really need to pick out your friends this month especially or Scorpio females, I feel like there is this person who is very conniving and vindictive, although they pretend to be very emotionally invested in you or a very close friend, be wary, because they may have been very unfair lately, or they may have been stirring the pot, uh, inhibiting your love life as well, because they may be envious of you. Queen of Swords is saying you need to be resilient, you may need to incorporate those uh, airy qualities, which is that yang, the masculine side of, of, of energy. Um... Some of you may even have air in your own primary natal chart as well. But you need to become very critical and cut the crap out of your life. You don't need to become somebody who is scared to express their true feelings because you don't want to hurt somebody. So you would rather wait till things actually blow out of proportion. And technically you shouldn't. You should really speak your truth if there is some type of suspicion or you feel like there is a lot of gossip and you know precisely who is spreading it. You need to approach the situation in order to make your own dreams come true. But there is an individual blocking it for you, causing confusion, not just for you, but the person you are dealing with. You could you could have that prosperity and, and, and practical new beginning, that stillness yet long term potentiality. But I feel like this this backstabbing situation is causing great confusion, whatever it may be. So be wary because we do have that deception card. And it's saying someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Whether it is speaking about a family member, a friend, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. I feel like this is not referring to romantic relationship at all. I feel like for some of you, this is referring to your own friends. And although this is a love reading, please rest assured that those friends are the ones who are um, throwing you under the bus and they are inhibiting the progress of a potential relationship progressing or some type of intimate connection um, becoming even more uh, sensual, you know. So be wary. Uh, there is this need to heal family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. As I say, it could be a judgmental father some of you have, which may be just 
not happy with anything you choose whether it was the president of united states coming to meet them they may still find uh back back draws of that individual they may have promised you to be balanced they may have promised you to um try and accept whoever you may choose but yet you may find yourself in this a uh, very unraveling type of um, situation where you feel an ending is imminent or there may be disputes leading to a big blowout and a backstabbing but as i say things may not get uh, cannot get any worse than that but some of you this will not occur it's not gonna of course resonate with everyone and also don't forget tarot technically has no timing this may have happened already prior to you watching this you need to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture or somebody will be expressing their love towards you. And this could be correlating to an air sign in particular since we have that nine of cups and the queen of swords as well, Scorpio. And you need to also keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So as I say, it could be somebody who's older. It could be somebody of a very high ranking. It could be somebody that may appear very boring to you or overly spiritual or overly religious they may be the one that if, if the person you're dealing with they, they may be quite religious they may be the one who are restraining and restricting themselves from attaining any type of intimate encounters with you and there is that inhibition and and, and you know someone trying to restrain you this could be it you, you know you want that passionate new beginning but yet you find struggling and, and, and putting an end to it because this person is just too overly stuck in tradition, too overly religious, too, um, someone you don't feel like you should be waiting for. And as the cards are saying, it's your choice to choose. You don't have to, on the contrary, be, uh, if they're being frigid, you don't have to be waiting because, you know, you may just be wasting your time. This individual may never be, um, open to, overstepping the boundary of societal norms or uh, culture religion whatever it may be the advice for you here is positive energy and it's saying surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity and as i say there has been, there are people around you whom you may be aware of or this may come as a shock to you that may be stirring the pot trying to cause some type of ending trying to even maybe uh, talk badly about the individual you're dealing with because they don't want to see you happy and that's not a real friend it's not a real friend who smiles to your face but then backstabs you right right when you have your back at them so it's important for you to cut that out with the screen of sorts be resilient be critical and cut the crap out of your life in order to attain your dreams in order to uh, reach that emotional contentment in order to be liberating and happy to pursue whatever you want to pursue and be sexually open, uh, indulge into sensuality and not have other people restraining and restricting you. So if you did find it of resonance, you can go and have a look at the interactive pick a card reading that there is for everyone for the month of July. I do hope this was helpful. Don't forget to check out my GoFundMe. Uh, page or join me on instagram if you have any questions on instagram please hit me up um on my official um sorry personal instagram not the official because that's only for normal general readings um please do subscribe like share and comment and i hope this was of service for some of you even if just one person find this to be of complete resonance and you know they have kind of took something positive from it my job is done here anyway so leave a comment below as well how you feel <clears throat> don't forget to tune in for your how does yoshi feel about your video and i thank you for your time i uh, thank you for the support as well i appreciate every single one of you i wish you a great month of july scorpio take care now bye